Hey guys, David here. So we're fishing on the good old Connecticut River again for um, some carp. So I found this spot on Google Earth. Nice little outlet right here. It drops off pretty quick. It's like, it goes from like six to 15 foot-ish. Um, it's what I gather from after casting out my rod with the lead on it. So here's what I'm doing today. So same old stuff, <clears throat> method lead. This is a hybrid lead from Guru. It's a 45 gram thing that's like an uh, around an ounce, maybe a little more than an ounce. So anti-tangle sleeve on there. And let's see, size eight swivel, size four hook. And got a little kick around there from Corda, I believe just to let the hook dig in a little bit better. And got some fake corn on there. Actually need to switch this out. And I actually made these boilies from it's crushed up dog food crushed up pineapple boilies uh, i'm trying to think what else is in there some shrimp vanilla extract coconut milk and that's it and i just made them into smaller boilies this time because last time i was making them like 20 20 up uh 20 millimeter so i'm going to size them down a little bit so that's really it and you just thread this on there i'm going to keep the corn on top but i just ripped off the boilie from last time and left it like this it's just so i can see the hook a little bit better because my eyes are terrible and um, so I don't lose the corn so I don't want to keep buying stuff over and over so that's it and then uh, the method the pack bait that I'm slapping on the method lead same thing same thing that's in the boilie except for oatmeal and this syrup that I've been checking in there so all right let's see if it works Nat. Nat. Yeah, go ahead. I'll climb down. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good spot, Thomas. All right, be, be very careful. This is, a, I think this is a bigger one. Wow, Thomas, that thing, it scared me. Oh, that's a nice one. Good spot, Thomas. Yep. All right, you just gotta watch, you gotta watch the hook. Yeah, that's a nice one. Scoop. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Not huge, but. Something. Wow, look at him. Oh, that scared me. I thought you were stuck on my ride for a second. <laughs> Alright, this one bit the dog biscuit boilies that I made. Alright, come on. I feel like a superhero. Look at that. <laughs> look at that spider. Where? Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, let's jump down here. I think it's a small one though. Oop. Oop. Yeah, I, uh, I think it feels like a smaller fish, but, oh, yep, hold on. Oh, he's, yeah, it's a smaller one. It's a quick little fish, yep. Woo. Scoop. Nice little fish. Alright. There he is. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Huh. Hard to say what that is. It doesn't feel like a carp. So far. That's weird.
carp. It is a carp. That's the laziest carp I've ever hooked. Feels like a catfish. Oh, he was stuck in the rocks. That stinks. Oh, he is not happy now. That actually might be a carp. Hey, Thomas! I got something. I'm gonna have to check my line now after that. He was definitely just snagged on the rocks down there. Ooh, it's a decent one. Hopefully my other rod doesn't go off. That's a decent one right there. Yeah, it's a healthy one. Probably like 10 pounds. Oh, oh boy, Alberto. Oh. 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 Come on, net boy. That's a, that's a decent one. He's heavy. There you go. Oh, yes, you got some ones lined too. Nice little carp. Get the fish ding dong. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's he's chunky. That's a good one. All right, ready? That's a nice fish. Ooh, there he goes. Yeah, he almost cut me off. Uh, it's on the log behind you. Thomas, right there. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, this one, this feels like a good one. All right, just watch the rocks. It's, um, Slippery. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, did he fall off? Oh, he fell off. Oh, no, no. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Yeah, he's bumping into rocks right now. Oh, man. That was scary. Careful to go slow, Thomas. No rush. Except, ooh. Is it sand right there? Yeah. Okay. There he is. That feels like a good one. All right, stay right there. Yeah. Is that probably a little dinky one? It feels good. He fought really good. Oh, it's a little baby. Healthy little one. Oh, good job. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> is she? Feisty fish. There, go. there he goes, he's ready. <laughs> Jeesh. Wow. Fast. All right, all right. Real, just real it. I think he's on there. Is he? Is he on there? I think so. All right, just reel it in. Oh, there you go. There you go. Is he on there good? Yeah. All right, just take your time. He's a small one. Uh, he might be swimming towards you. We already learned. That's what they do. Oh, keep going. Wow. Take your time. Don't remember, don't pull, don't pull too hard like you did last time and rip the hook out. Just nice and gentle. He's not going anywhere, or you hope he's not. Thomas. All right, go ahead. Does it feel like a catfish or car? Well, it's, yeah. Come on. Ooh, no, that's a carp. Oh, ooh, there he is. Wow, they bit quick together as there was like within a minute.
professional net boy. Here, just put the, put the uh, rod in the rod holder and put the bait runner on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's put the bait runner on. These, these carp down here are way prettier. <laughs> yeah. You gonna hold them? Yeah. It's your fish. Go. Wow. Pretty tail. All right, all right, let's let him go. Yeah, good. Good practice for Thomas. Good practice. Last time I tried reeling him in like a striper. All right, guys, so the battery died um, on that last set of runs that we got. So we actually got two Did you just say that? within five minutes. Just watch out, the hook's still in his mouth, but yeah. Cute little, nice little fish. All right, let's let this one go too. Ooh, dirty little fish. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. All right, let's get them on their way. There he goes. All right, get the other one released, and that's it. All right, I just got. Oh, this might be a bigger one. Um, oh, this might be a bigger one, Thomas. I got one right when you left. This actually, this actually feels like a bigger one. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is, this, ah, it sort of feels catfishy. Oh, that's not a catfish, hold on. Um, put him, um, put him in the gray backpack in one of the side pockets. I might need the net, Thomas. On this one. Yeah, I was trying to stay dry for a little bit just so I can get ready to jump in the hammock, but the bites definitely picked up after all the jet skis stopped, so. I don't know, I'm not sure what this is, Thomas. Here, you, you just throw the net to me so you don't have to get soaked. But then this net floats. Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I'm hope if the, if this is a carp, it's a nice one. You think so? I saw him actually when he bit. I saw the um, the wake over there when he when he felt the hook. He made a big boil over there. I hope so. It's a nice one. Yeah, nighttime for carps. Wait, you get definitely bigger ones. What is that? Oh, I don't know. This might be a catfish. It might be. What is that? Oh, it's a white catfish. It's a nice one, actually. That's a white catfish. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's surprising. You can see the boil. Though. Holy smokes. That's a, yeah, that's a nice white catfish. I thought it was a channel. Uh, is healthy. it a channel? No, that might be a channel. That's really healthy. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm trying to decide whether or not he's missing his whiskers. He's missing everything. What do you think? Nice little fish. Oh, setting up for the night for setting up my hammock and something just ripped off this one. Oh, he just went through this, didn't he? I don't know if I just got a bite in the other rod or if um, this one just swam through it. Ooh. Yeah, something just definitely bit the other rod. Come on. Hoping for a nice one, to, something over 
20 would be nice tonight. Come here, fish. Nice little fish. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really shallow in here. Um, this is the spot I've fished quite a few times in my videos. Um, I tried a different spot today in Hartford and I did pretty well just once the tide started going out, all the bites stopped. So I moved farther down to a calmer area. This is actually carp right out there. So, yep, just hoping something picks off this rod over here, but we'll see. All right, guys, so morning number two. Uh, just got out of the hammocks, making boiling up some water. I'm gonna make some good old ramen noodles or instant noodles, whatever. Got two rods out. Um, I didn't fish fish at all last night from 10 on. Um, it's like 6 in the morning right now. I just I was exhausted. Um, yeah, right before we went to sleep, we got a couple, couple nice catfish. So t today we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to mess around and see if we can't catch some carp. So yesterday was interesting as far as the personal watercraft go. Um, I had a person, a gentleman on a snowmobile going up and down the river and he hit my line once going up the river and then said sorry man and then the luckily he didn't get this get the sinker or the hook in him that's what i was most worried about and then maybe what was that like two hours later thomas and like two hours later same guy same snowmobile Drives through my line again. Luckily, I had my bait runners on, but I can tell you those Daiwa bait runners that I have on there now are champs. Because Thomas, I don't know if another reel would have been okay with that. He was doing it. <laughs> the snowmobile was doing at least 40 miles an hour. I'd say at least four, about 40. And the reels still work fine. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of them. They're 89 bucks. So I. Yeah, I can't. I'm happy with them. So, all right. Yeah, we're just gonna throw some chucks and boilies out there and see if we can't get something on this beautiful morning. Yeah. Feels like a cart. Thank you for my time. Let's see if I could get over this line over here. No, that was, that was me. Oh, I mean, it might. Yeah, he's he's swimming in it. Ooh. Yeah, it's you. Here, can you reel this one in? Yeah. I gotta reel it. It's alright. Just uh, um, it'll keep it from getting. Too tangled. Or they're already tangled. They're probably already tangled, but. Nope. Oh, wow. What? How is it? Alright, there you go. Good. Yeah, just reel it in. Gonzo. Ooh. That feels a little heavier. Oh yeah, that's heavier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That feel, that definitely feels heavier. Yeah, that's a bigger one, Thomas.
Yeah, he's, yeah, that's a heavy fish, Thomas. Where's the catfish? Uh, ain't no catfish. There ain't no catfish. She's swimming towards me right now. Says who? You're the one who thought that. No, this ain't, no, this isn't a catfish. Yeah, that's a catfish. Yeah, he's coming right towards us. I'm gonna loosen this up. He's gonna run in a second. Yeah. Swim to the wrong side, fish. <laughs> Beautiful morning for carp and instant noodles. That's a good fish, Thomas. Oh no. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good fish. Ooh. I'm just worried about the sinker hitting. Yeah, that's why I'm being careful. That's a good fish. Ooh. Ooh, that's over that's over ten pounds. They ain't no baby fish. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. Maybe it was one of those airplanes. No, it's the. It was a bunch of little birds. What? All right, he needs to come in. That's a lot. He needs to come in now. He's not. He, if he hasn't fallen, well, don't say that. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna say those things. Okay. Here, fish. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice one. Scoop. Ooh, that's a nice one. <laughs> oh, bad net boy, get him. Bad net boy. Why'd you do that? Bad net boy. Bad net boy. All right, that's good. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo. Oh, that's a nice one. He soaked me. I was supposed to get wet in your shorts. Oh, whoops. That's a nice fish right there. Nice fish. All right, let's go get him back before I drop him. And I'm preparing myself. Skin back so I get splashed. That. Get a good video. Come up closer, Thomas. Hey guys, so we finished up that trip to Connecticut. It was a two day trip, camping trip, um, mostly near Hartford. So we did pretty well, caught some nice fish, nothing notable, but uh, it was still fun. The kids are getting ready to go back to school. So I'm trying to get my, my kids out as much as possible to enjoy the last bits of their summer. Um, I'm trying to think of, yeah, it was a good, good couple days out there. The weather's starting to cool down. It's definitely a little more comfortable using a hammock. Never used one before. So um, I'm going to go one more time for carp and then I'm actually going to do another video where I have this guilty pl pl fishing pleasure of going for wild goldfish. I don't know if that sounds cheesy or not, but um, I'm going to do it. So some of these goldfish are like I think my son caught one that was like always over two pounds, but they're beautiful fish. They fight good. Um, it's just weird, weird, st weird stuff to fish for. I like it. So, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give a like and subscribe. If you want to see different types of fishing, let me know. Um, I want to get down to the Cape, but I'm waiting for the beaches to be free of charge when you park. So I'm not, I don't, with Albi fishing, especially from the shore, you, you move a lot. So I don't feel like paying for a spot and then leaving 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later. Um, I know some of the spots you can get away with parking there if you get there early enough, but um, yeah, I don't want to play that game. I just want to go, go jump around spot to spot if need be, find the fish. And uh, by fish, I mean Albies, by the way. Um, 
I just want to fish, that's all. I don't want to be spending exuberant amounts of money. So, all right guys, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe.